evening and welcome to 1996 Move It or Lose It State League Table Tennis Action. Over the next eight table tennis action. Over the next eight weeks, we'll be featuring top table tennis action, including Olympians, World Champions, and Commonwealth and Australian Champions. The match you're about to see features Raphael Pronobis, young hopeful for the Sydney 2000 Olympics, representing the Melbourne Red Devils and recently returned from a six-month stint in Poland playing National League. His opponent tonight, Jeff Plum, another youth hopeful, originally from Canberra, has moved down to Melbourne to access competition and tonight he's representing Coburg. Highly rated, Jeff Plum, very good forehand and fast footwork. Raphael, more controlled play, likes to rally a lot more. Oh, what a great rally to start. Great forehand from Jeff Plum straight down the line. Raphael Pinova serving, three all in the first game. Raphael likes to place the ball, tends to rally a lot more than the other players. Again, a Oh, what a fantastic rally. Great off forward, forehand by now trailing 16-18. Pinobis has led all the way in this first game. Excellent play by Jeff Plum. Pinobis to serve in the first and the second game. The score of four love. That's a better play. I think Pinobis. Fantastic shot by Jeff Plum, stepping around his back and now leads 27-17. Uh, Plum serving at 17-20. Good rally, both players top spinning strongly. Great defence by Pernobus. And he takes that game 2014. Still six match points for Jeff Plum. Heavy top spins. Great reply from Pernobus. Great backhand from Jeff Plum, that's a terrific shot. Winning the match in three, 21-14 in the third, a good result for the... To feature the finesse of Croydon's Mark Smythe versus the attacking style of the Melbourne Red Devils' Dennis Mackling. Both play... Mark Smythe leading 12-1. Mark Smythe currently ranked number two in Australia. Against Dennis Mackling, who's the 1993 Oceania champion and 1991 and 92 Australian champion. Mark. Uh, Mark appears very, very confident to keep flowing. Oh, that's a nice backhand and forehand combination from Dennis. Yeah, excellent rally from Dennis. He, he Leading 15-8. Dennis will really need his next couple of points if he wants to get back into this match. Wow. Great backhands. Top spin from Mark Smythe. Very little backswing. Very difficult for the opponent to pick up where that's going. And again, this time, down the straight down. And he can certainly turn this game around. And uh, it's very difficult for Mark to... Uh, he knows that uh, he can only get an improved performance from Dennis. So he needs to concentrate... ...for the Red Devils at 10 all in the second game. This is a great rally. Good defence by Smythe. Great control and power by Dennis Macklin. Good change of pace. To ball to the backhand. Failed to make contact. Contact 2017. And Mark Smythe runs out a very convincing winner. Tong Ling in the lighter shirt. Uh, Tong Ling is a former uh, world champion in 1981 and uh, a beautiful defender. And you'll be able to see her moving gracefully around the court. Uh, in the first game, attacking very positively. Tong Ling still trying to get into her rhythm. Great top spins from Shirley. Tong Ling back from the table, pulling those balls back and, and playing defensive players. Tong Ling on a backhand side uses a long pimpled rubber. That's the black side. And with that, she can get a lot of variation. This is a great rally. Shirley certainly looping well to both sides. Tong Ling just retrieving everything. This is fantastic stuff. And it, and again, forcing the error from Shirley. Shirley serving at 7.16. So Shirley, after a, a good start, led 6-1, has now fallen behind, mainly due to the just impenetrable defence of Tong Ling. She's just getting everything back and then coming in and picking the ball off, as you mentioned earlier. So I think that's right, uh, Mary. Shirley is clever, and certainly a match like this against a world-class Tong Ling can only do a, a great deal of good. 
Shirley top spinning away, trying to move Tongling around, trying to break Tongling's rhythm, which is a good tactic. Looping into the body, that's better. Working much more patient for the point. This is a great rally. Shirley had the opening. But Fun rally, and um, she deserved to, to win the point. Yes, she certainly fought well. Tong Ling pushing her from side to side again in this rally. And great counter-attack from Shirley Zhao. The ball up and then hopefully she's going to be able to put it away. I like to see when she's doing the bringing Tong Ling in and out. Bringing it back. That's uh, a good shot, but unfortunately it's far too high. That was a go around. In, in the women in Australia, Tong Ling is the only defensive player. In the men, there's only one or two top-line defensive players. And so the players do struggle, especially when they play such a top player such as Tong Ling. This is a good rally from Shirley. Forcing the ball, moving the ball around, not allowing Tong Ling to get into any rhythm. This is what she has to do, just keep top spinning, wait till she gets the ball up higher so that she can put it away with a powerful smash. But Tong Ling, her defence is just terrific. That was fantastic. Player and Shirley is uh, uh, on a, uh, a learning curve and uh, has got a long way um, in the world of table tennis which she can achieve. And so, game to Tong Ling, three games, and that was a great match. The following match is certainly taking a bet each way. Darren Webb playing for St Kilda Cricket against the defender, Robin Moore, representing Albert Park. Both play eight in Australia. And how do you think this match will uh, go, Bob? Should be a very interesting match. Darren Webb in the black is a very tenacious player, very aggressive. Robin Moore, good defensive player. This is a great rally. Robin back defending. Darren Webb smashing. That's a great rally. Great smash and great. Robin trailing 2-3. Oh, that's a fantastic smash from Darren Webb. Loose forehand from Robin. I think that was Darren, actually. Again, here coming from the bat of Robin Moore. Great attacking play from Darren Webb. Robin actually too far away from the table and the top spinning ball. Guys, he needs to really focus hard here to try and get himself back into this match. Yes, I think you're right, Mary. He's sort of, when he's going back to defend, the attacking shots from Darren are just proving too strong and when he tries to attack again Darren has got the end the line for Darren Webb off the serve of Robin Moore now 2012 eight match points and wow long serve and just banged away from Darren Webb Darren Webb a comfortable victor two games to nil the match we're about to feature two Australian representatives teammates on the Australian team Russell Laval from Croydon and Dennis McElling from Melbourne Red Devils both play for a top spin down the line which didn't go onto the table but you're right there is probably a few more I wouldn't say they're unforced errors but I think they're probably just forced by the players just going for extreme attacking shots that's a good backhand punch by Dennis got the high ball and he voting for him he came back the next year and probably produced the best form of his career to win the Oceania title and that was a great rally there Dennis just flicking that forehand Dennis unable to penetrate that spin defense of Russell and that's something he's picked up and added to his game from his trip in Europe Russell with great control just back from the table Dennis catching him going the wrong way on that occasion away from Russell he has to be the one taking the initiative He's allowing at the moment Russell to open up and up and Russell just playing confidently even though he missed that point. But I think Dennis has to be more positive, take the attack and play more. Russell again trying to point the shots down the line. Wow, that is just a great shot. That was a Russell again trying to point the shots down the line. Wow, that is just a great shot. That was a net court from Dick. Russell again trying to point the shots down the line. Wow, that is just a great shot. That was a net court from Dennis and beautifully controlled back by Russell, actually bouncing the ball twice on his on Dennis's side, putting the ball on and winning the point. Well, that's a great backhand. Just waiting for the finish of this game, one might say. So. Yes, Russell now leading 20-10 and running out a very convincing winner to the game to love. You're about to see features Melbourne Red Devils Simon Gerrada, Australian under 15 champion and promising hopeful for the Sydney 2000 Olympics. Tonight is matched against one of the top 
youth players in Australia, Bill Rajab from Coburg. A big occasion for a, a young player, but uh, at this stage of his career, he'd uh, probably be gaining something from uh, every match. Uh. Currently in command, leading 14-7. Rajab serving very well, following up with forehand topspins. A good rally. Great defence by Gerrada, but Bill Rajab finishing that off with a powerful. There's um, four years to go, and if they think they can get to the top in table tennis, and it probably is almost possible in four years, if they've got the talent, the commitment, the dedication, and there are the coaching programs in place. This is a great rally. Simon Gerrada just taking those balls off the bounce. Fantastic shot. Finishing that ball with a following up a serve with a strong forehand topspin. I think that's what he needs to do, serve tightly and follow up strongly, and that's a great start to love. Simon, I think, did gain his confidence in the second half of that first game, and if he can carry that momentum into the second game, he will have a chance of extending this to the third game. That's great placement and great power from the young player. Good defensive lobs from Bill Rajab. Drop shot. A high drop shot. Rajab caught out of position. A great round has to keep his serves tight. Attacking Rajab's backhand. That's good. Explosive shots from both sides. Oh, that's a great backhand to finish by Bill Rajab. To finish by Bill Rajab. Simon Gerrana serving 6-4. And again, just wetting his feet slightly. Trying to get better grip on the floor surface. Gerrata, 6-4, second game. There he goes. He, he, he slipped over completely there. And yes, I think that's right, Mary. He does have to focus, but I think it's probably just a sign of his inexperience. It's a good play by Simon. Bringing him in and hitting one hard to his body. Great defence by Bill Rajab and fantastic play. That's a great rally. Maybe just a tactic at this stage to get his thoughts back. Bill Rajab just seems to have gone a little bit passive at the moment, not attacking as much as he did in the first game. What a great rally this is. Loop to loop. Fantastic rally and a great point for Simon Gerrada, putting him back in the lead. Great play. Great play by Simon to take that game 23-21. Indy forced Bill wide to his forehand, just couldn't quite take advantage. 4-12. Wow, well, that was that shows a bit of skill there, Mary. Ambidextrous came in on the short ball, got it back left-handed. Can't quite see that very often. No, that was kept Bill well away from the table. Good service, followed up by a strong forehand. Now Bill attacking well. Great forehand top spins from both players and a great point from Simon Gerrada showing that he can win the points. Good top spin from both players back from the table. This is modern table tennis. This is a great rally. And a Simon shot just getting the edge of the table, but he fully did. Bill Rajab leading 2011. Nine match points. Well in control of this match. Simon. Heavy topspin and just flicking the net and bouncing off. And so game to Bill Rajab, 21-11. An entertaining match, but thoroughly deserved victory to Bill Rajab from the Coburg Club.